Cricketers, I hope you're all well. So Cricket have once again announced their Craft Along theme for this week. And the theme is Home Decor. So I thought I'd create a kind of little scene for my elves. Now these are just my fabric elves that I've got. I've had them years and I love them. They're a big part of my fire display at Christmas. But if you wanted to make these items for your elf on the shelf, for example, you absolutely could. We're going to be using the maker for all the projects today and we are going to be using the knife blade for all our projects and all of the projects featured today will be available in the community and I will link to them in the description below. First project is going to be a chipboard sleigh. This is going to be for my elf or elf on the shelf and it's just a lovely little project to go with your elf or whatever kind of thing you've got. It's just a nice ornament and as I say we're going to be making it out of chipboard so you are going to need your maker and you are going to need the knife blade. When you come in you'll see there's two sides to our sleigh and we've also got some bridge gaps as well so this one is going to go across the bottom and then these three fill the other sides and it then allows our two sled sides to go in together. I've got some holly here which I'm going to use to decorate my sleigh. I've just got that from Access. It won't be in the community project. I'm going to remove that for the project. But I just wanted to show you that you can decorate it and of course you can use Access images. So everything is already sized up for you so we can go to make it. You can see that we're going to use two sheets of 11 by 11 Cricut chipboard. And I just come in and just move these slightly so they're not all as close to each other. And then we can go to continue. So for mats three and four, I'm going to be using Cricut chipboard. So I'm going to browse all materials and go to heavy chipboard two millimeters. And of course I will be using my knife blade. For my holly, so mats one and two, I'm going to be using felt today. So I'm going to go to browse all materials. I'm going to come down to felt and I'm going to choose felt. Now because I'm using my maker today, I am going to use my rotary blade, but of course if you're using the Air or the Air 2, you can of course use your fine point blade. If you've got the maker and you want to use the rotary blade, go to edit tools, and then you can choose your rotary blade. I just prefer the way it cuts felt, that's why I like using the rotary blade. But of course the fine point blade works just as well. all my pieces cut out I've got my two sleigh sides and I've also got all my inserts to hold everything together this took a cut time of just under two hours but it is a really beautiful special project now I'm not going to use any glue but you can if you want to you could use some art glitter glue or even some gorilla glue my first side and I'm going to come in with my bottom piece and I'm literally just going to slot it into place. You may need to wiggle it a bit but it will go in there. It will be flush poking out the other side so it will just look like it's part of the wood although you will see the seam. We're then going to get our second sleigh piece and we're just going to come in and place it on top. And again, it will just slot in there. You just may need to help it a little bit. Even with the addition of just the bottom piece, we can already stand it up. So the more pieces we add, the sturdier it's going to get. So we're going to come in with one of our other pieces. These three are all the same size. And we're going to come in and place our seat bit. 
because it's already sectioned, we are going to have to give it a wee bit of a push to get it in there. And you may need to manipulate it slightly, but it will just slot into place. See that this is really starting to take shape now. We're now going to come in with the back plate and again we're just going to place it into the slots. Finally we can come in with our front piece and again you're just going to place it into the slots. As I say I don't see the need to glue because the more you add these slots in the firmer it gets but if you wanted to add some glue you could. You can see once it's all slotted together we've got our beautiful sleigh. It's all connected, it's completely sturdy. As I say you don't need to add glue. Uh, I personally haven't but if you wanted to you could. You can then decorate this any way you want. You can spray paint it, you can paint it, uh, you could add gilding flakes onto it. There is so many options and it's completely up to yourself spray paint on this occasion. Spray paint is dry and I can then come in with my felt hollies and I'm just going to glue them on using some art glitter glue. For my next project I'm going to make an elf door. Now again I am going to be using my maker and I am going to be using my knife blade. I am going to be cutting this out in Cricut chipboard. So again this is a community project so the only thing that won't be in here is the text. My text is going to be vinyl. It's going to go on my house sign and also my little house mat. So this red door and then all these aqua greens, they're going to cut out in chipboard. My two gold circles here to go on my hinges, they're going to cut out in foil cardstock. For my wreath, I'm going to use glitter foam from Hobbycraft. And then I'm just going to use some metallic vinyl for my text. We can then go to make it. You can see we've got our mats. With this one, I just want to move these because our Cricut chipboard is 11 by 11 inches. So we just want to kind of bring those in a bit. And then we've got our other chipboard one there. We can then go to continue. So again, for mat six and four, I'll be using the Cricut chipboard with my knife blade. Mat 1 I'll be using metallic vinyl setting. For mat 2 with my foil cardstock, it's not Cricut foil cardstock, it's just I got some from a shop. Uh, so I'll be using the medium cardstock setting. And then mats 3 and 4 I'm using glitter foam from Hobbycraft. So I'm just going to browse all materials. I'm going to come down to foam and glitter craft foam. And you'll see that we need to use our fine point blade for this. my different pieces here. I've got my chipboard, I've got my glitter foam, I've got my foil cardstock and I've got my metallic vinyl as well. My two door pieces I need to come in and glue these together and I'm just going to use some Gorilla wood glue today. And to coat your outer door with it you want to be quite generous and you're then obviously going to plate it on top of your back door piece. You then want to go and let it dry for about 20 minutes under some really heavy books. To add some art glitter glue to my bow on my reef so that I can then glue those together. Again you just want to place them on top of each other and then you want to leave them to dry for about 10 minutes. 
is I've come in with some eye zinc, zinc, you know what I'm like pronouncing it, uh, some glitter paste and I've just covered my hinges with that and then I've got my gold foil card and I'm just going to come in and glue those on top of my hinges. come in use my art glitter glue or I can use some gorilla wood glue and I can start gluing everything onto my door then come in and slot my door into place and I'm also going to slot my house sign into place as well they will just slot in there and then I can come and glue my front door mat in place as well So for our final project, we are going to be using Basswood 1 16th and we're going to be creating this 3D tree. So these two trees are going to slot into each other. So this is really simple to make. There's a cut time of about half an hour. Um, it's about 15 minutes for each tree, which actually isn't that bad. As I say, I've made this for basswood 1 16 and you'll be able to just cut it out and then slide them together. So I've got my two pieces of basswood at 1 16 all cut out and as you can see, you're just going to come in and slot them together. It may take a little bit of wiggling but you can see that they then go in and we're just going to keep pushing it up until we can't push any more. And then that is all done and it will also stand up for you as well. So it's just nice, quick, easy project for you to do. I've got some Ron Seal Outdoor Varnish in satin here. And I'm just going to come in and start painting it onto my basswood. I think we can go too overboard with products. We can go in with glitter, we can go in with paint, uh, we can add foil, we can do gilding flakes, we can do inks. I mean, there are so, so many products out there that we can use. And actually, we're working with really beautiful wood. So sometimes it's just nice, especially when we're creating a scene like we are with this, where it's just plain and you can see that natural finish and it's just got a nice kind of honeycomb uh, kind of varnish to it and I just think it really adds to it. Mm -hmm. 